A love letter to Portugal. Oh Portugal, since I took my very own first steps on this planet, upon your very own rich and awesome soil, you had me at the get-go. I've lived and loved you every year I've spent on this earth, and every time we're together, I fall in love with you a little more. Where can I start? Is it the rich, golden glow about your very ancient lands, which have traces of so many wild and different cultures imprinted across it? Doused in your foods, in the intoxicating, bewitching smiles of your peoples, in the shape of your lands, the ruins, the curves of your cobbles, the ancient rock and whispers of the spirits and energies who are here in an ancient time. Is it the crispness of your salty air, the endless hours of play, and love I've had in your warring and wild waters. The first touch of sand on my babe toes, the first swim, the first time I lay my belly on a board and felt the defiant surge of your power, the first time I stepped both feet on a surfboard, the beginning of an enduring and wild love affair that to you, Portugal, I am eternally grateful. It could be the smiles from your local elder statesmen, pitched up at their spots every morning, the knowing smiles of the elderly fishermen as I leave when the sun is peeping over the horizons for an early run into the hills, pit stopping for one of your delectable coffees in the unassuming and perfect stand-up coffee shops. Or perhaps it's the sizzling sardines, the freshly grilled treasures from the ocean, doused in lemon, garlic, wine and love, the endless trays of prawns and clams, of thick, hearty stews, of crusty Moorish breads, of my memories of my dad bringing still warm croissants from your local bakeries to our home every morning, of the toast made in your local wines, to the many events, the many loves and many moments imprinted forever in my heart. Perhaps it's the wild dancing, the abandoned screams to the moonlit skies with charm feet moving non-stop to the beats of your ancient musics and land, of the fervent frenzy of never wanting to stop dancing, of the laughs and exhaustion Dancing barefoot home with the sun rising in the sky, the moon sleeping to the west, searching for that warm croissant to put me to sleep. Is it those seminal friendships, those hugs, the first taste of your beer, the toasts, the love, the celebrations of high school, of university, of our first jobs, of our second, of our first loves, the loves for life, of weddings, of children? Is it that moment that you've been instrumental in, in the heartbeat to, to which I'm eternally grateful? It could be the simplicity of those walks with my mother on the golden sands. Once a child taking such pleasure in searching for your ocean's treasures, collecting shells hand in hand with her. Those moments which have never changed as I'm still a child of your lands, yet the vision now of my own mother. Portugal, you enrapture me and have loved me as I have loved you, honestly, passionately, relentlessly since you first welcomed me to your intoxicating world. How I can't wait to see how this great love continues. Thank you for all your gifts. I love you, Portugal. Just wait for the man to come. Said, oh.